Hey, what's up? I'm Nizio Cole, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install multiple Watch Dogs mods at once. Now, I did kind of make a tutorial on this for the Watch Dogs Lamborghini mod, but I figured I'd just make a standalone tutorial that could work good with pretty much any mod. So in this example, I'm going to be using the Revival mod and the PlayStation Buttons mod. Now, what you're looking for are these patch.dat and patch.fat files. You need both files for both mods, and you're also gonna need the Gibbed modding tools, which I'll have linked in the description. So you can kind of think of these type of files like zip files, and they're compressed, and you need to unpack them in order to transfer files in and out. And that's what the Gibbed modding tools are used for. So take your first mod and drag patch.dat into gibbed.disrupt.unpack. A window should open. And depending on how big your mod is, it might take a little bit longer, but then it creates this folder. And this is basically all of the folders that are in that patch file. Then you want to go to your second mod and do the same for this one. And as you can see, this one is going to take quite a bit longer because it's a lot bigger than the first mod, but I'll just skip ahead until this is done. Okay. Now that that's done, you can see we have a patch underscore unpack folder for the revival mod and the PlayStation buttons mod. So what you want to do is go into the mod that you're going to put into the other mod and copy all of the folders and paste them into here and make sure when the dialog box pops up that says, do you want to replace these? Make sure you choose replace the files and destination. And then once that's done, it should look something like this. And you can drag the entire folder onto gibbed.disrupt.pack.exe. And once again, this will probably take a while. Now, once that's done, it should create two files, patch underscore unpack.dat and patch underscore unpack.fat. So what you wanna do is take these, copy them, and then open your watchdogs game directory. If you wanna know how to do this on Steam, right click, go to manage, and browse local files. Now, once that's done, you wanna open data underscore win64 and paste in your files. Now, before you do anything, you want to delete the patch.dat and patch.fat that were already in there, and then delete the underscore unpack in both files, and then launch the game. And then once you've loaded in the game, you can see that we have the revival mod installed. And if we go over to a car, you can see we have the PlayStation icons installed. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about this process down in the comment section below. Of course, I will have the Gibbed modding tools linked in the description if you want to go check it out and try this for yourself. And I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.